Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the show. Obviously, an audio-only episode this week because I am joined with Chris Marquardt. I'm joined by Chris Marquardt. How are you doing, Chris? Does that, does that mean people can't see me? <laughs> no, they can't see you. <laughs> I've been waving here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep, wave harder. No, it's still not working. Uh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, at long last, um, we wanted to give an update on the 2013 Kailash uh, yeah, because because workshop. that's because that's what it means when we do an audio show and I come on the show. <laughs> yeah, basically, it's, it's usually us talking about the next Himalayan tre- trek and workshop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So um, I know people have been really anxious to hear about this this uh, upcoming workshop, and we teased it over social media and uh, got a lot of very positive response. It's been two years since we did the last one, so I think uh, demand. <laughs> Demand has come well, to right. a head. We skipped here, so. a year. I've, I was so busy this year. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's cool. I'm 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 totally looking forward to going back. You know, the ironic thing is, normally I only see Chris in the Himalayas, but this past year I've seen you what like eight hundred <laughs> times <laughs> at least. <laughs> Saw you in New York. I've seen you in D.C. I've seen you. Mm-hmm. Um, right. I don't know. It's been all over the place. Anyway, oh, in in, in Utah, <laughs> we happened to do a little workshop in Utah. Uh, this year but in any case so we want to give people um the updated information about the uh 2013 kailash workshop and let you know that uh, registration is going to open um, i, I guess before we go into all the details let's let's talk what we're actually going to do <laughs> <This Yeah. is> probably... <laughs> what 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 is next year's the 2013 Himalayan workshop going to be about? See, I just figure everyone follows every word that I tweet on Which Twitter. Which I don't so, think. No, I don't think true. that's the case, actually. So, you should. You um, should. Um, okay, so Kailash... Meeting, um, meeting point. Meeting point first. Kathmandu. Okay, okay so the Kailash workshop, Kathmandu. just to let you know, it's going to be uh, the same itinerary that we were going to do back in 2011. And so um, those of you who were aware of that trip back then. It's going to be the same. Um, so we're going to be meeting in Kathmandu as always because Kathmandu is is a home away from home for us. We just love Kathmandu. And then we're going to be driving up into Tibet and then um, doing some sightseeing while we acclimatize to the altitude because we will be in Tibet. <laughs> and then uh, um, the and Tibet is pretty high up. And yeah, and Tibet is just incredible. So. Um, we're gonna get to go into Western Tibet, um, to, uh, to you know, to, on the way to Mount uh, Kailash, we'll do a, a lot of sightseeing, and you know, great opportunities for um, the photo workshop. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, and then uh, we will we will be doing a trek. Although uh, the trek um, for Mount Kailash is a very short trek, uh, what we'll be doing is we'll actually be walking around this mountain. We will not be climbing the mountain; it's uh, off limits for climbing. And um, we'll actually be, be doing a circumambulation of Mount Kailash. Which is such a wonderful word. I could say that all day long. <laughs> I, I didn't know this before. Before you started talking about the, the Kailash uh, trek, I, I didn't even know that word. So a circumambulation. Circumambulation. We'll be walking so, around it. <clears throat> what is what? What's behind that? Behind that walking around Kailash? Um, from what I heard is that, that Kailash is one of the or maybe even the holiest mountains uh, mountains for the for the Hindus, for the Hindus and, and, the, and the Tibetan Buddhists. So and the Tibetan Buddhists and 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 once in their lifetime they have to make it possible to walk around that. So that is one of the one of the um, one of the really important things for them in life. And now wait, we're not. This is not a spiritual trek or anything. This is just us going up there and and. And enjoying the, the 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 people, the landscape, and and let me tell you that landscape is quite something, actually. Yeah, it's so, gonna be it's gonna be just beautiful. And as always, it'll be um, hosted by uh, or excuse me, uh, our staff will be from Mountain Tribes, uh, which is uh, our favorite company uh, to use in the these guys are awesome the and so well you know you're fans of the show you know a lot of the staff for the show it'll be similar um similar uh um kind of roster um of, of staff members so um if you know some of the some of the people like uh, our our beloved <laughs> beloved friend pemba uh nuri sherpa um he'll be there pemba will will probably be with us or actually he definitely will be with us and 
Um, Monica and I have made a very, <laughs> very big point that um, Chimi, our friend from from uh, Tibet, will also be with us. Yes, and Lob Song. And Lob Song. So and we Lob have Song. two two Tibetan guides actually. Yeah, <laughs> and quite honestly, um, we're hiring uh, two of them because we just you know they're family to us. So yes. we just want to hang out with them. So, um, <clears throat> so question. How are we going to get there? Because uh, it is a bit of a trip from Kathmandu to Mount Kailash. So what, what are we going to do on the way? How is this going to happen? <clears throat> okay, so the way this is going to work is we will not be flying um, out of Kathmandu into Tibet. We will be driving up the Friendship Highway. We'll be crossing awesome. the Friendship Bridge uh, in Zhangmu and then heading up to Nilam. And so that's uh, Friendship Bridge is where we cross over into Tibet. Correct. Yeah, that is the border. And... Um, so again, if you're familiar with uh, episodes of the rest of Everest, then you are familiar. Uh, at least you've seen, you've seen that bridge. You get to see it in your uh, with your own eyes. And then, um, and then we'll be driving from Zhangmu uh, in the familiar uh, Toyota Land Cruisers. Uh, we'll have a little caravan, and we'll drive up, basically drive up to Nilam, and then uh, hang hang a, a left turn mm. so, <laughs> so whereas we're, we're, to everest we'd be normally hanging a right turn um, so we, we're gonna we're gonna have drivers we're not gonna do our the driving ourselves and then it's gonna be uh around three people per land cruiser yep three uh three guests per land cruiser plus the driver <laughs> like a land cruiser with little curtains i love that <laughs> <laughs> and the tibetan pop music and the tibetan pop music yep this is really a real Oddly enough, that is one of the most uh, most fond memories that I have is the Tibetan pop music <laughs> that the driver used to play on an actual cassette tape. <laughs> exactly. Um, mm -hmm. So, all right. So, um, uh, like like we said, we there, there will be a lot of sightseeing on the way to Mount Kailash, and that is all that's all done um, not just because it's cool, but because we'll be uh, uh, acclimating to the altitude because the trek, although short is going to be we're going to do um our high point is 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 quite high um the trek itself is only going to be three days um to circumambulate mount kailash but we will be passing over um domala which is eighteen thousand five hundred uh feet or about 5600 meters um Whoa. approximately um so <clears throat> so uh by the, the the sightseeing is able to get us ready for that uh that high pass and um but but make no mistake about that the, the sightseeing is also a really awesome part of that trip because we're going to see um abbeys buddhist uh, monasteries we're going to see um just just different holy lakes um very you know, very villages very cool sites mm -hmm. so we'll be we'll be doing landscape photography uh there's a lot of culture architecture people people photography there is just it's brilliant because most of the people are just they they, they actually actually happened to me several times i was invited to take people's photos mm -hmm. so um it's a very different culture and on the on the trek itself we will have a full staff of uh yak herders and yaks so, so they, they will carry the, the big heavy uh, luggage and stuff yeah so so even though um you know this this trek is short but but high uh, you only have to carry as much as you want, and typically that comes down to lenses, <laughs> the glass that you want to carry that day. <laughs> Camera lenses, water. You have to have water, and yeah, just a little day pack, pretty much. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's 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 going to be a lot of fun. We really, really wanted to do this trek back in 2011, and we all got to Kathmandu. You know, we had a, a full group, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, Chinese government decided to close the border to Tibet the day that we were getting our visa to our group visa to enter Tibet. I was actually, why, why did they do that? Uh, they did that because they can. Um, there's all kinds this is of one of one of these one of these anniversary of uh, invasion and that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was just it, it was an, an auspicious uh, an auspicious uh, date coming up. So. Um, the, yeah, you know, the Chinese government tends to like to seal off Tibet so that uh, people aren't there to take photos, which is exactly what we'd be doing um, of whatever would be happening there, um, any protests that might come up. So um, how, how so are we going to avoid that so, from happening this time? Well, I just want to say, you know, back back in 2011, um, 
Mountain Tribes being just a phenomenal company. They scrambled uh, very professionally and they completely rerouted our itinerary to go to Annapurna Base Camp. And so that that trek still happened, but uh, we, we, we were longing to see Kailash. I've wanted to go there for nearly a decade now. So I'm really excited uh, to be hosting this trip uh, for 2013. The way that we've um, made sure that we're not going to get caught up in those anniversary closings of the Tibetan border is by moving the trek later uh, in the spring. So uh, whereas last uh, last time we tried it, we were, I believe we all met in, in Kathmandu in the middle of April. Um, what we're doing this time is we're moving it a month later. Because what happened is the border closed and then a little bit later it opened back up. So... Um, and that pretty much happens every year, right? It pretty much, yeah. Nowadays, it's, 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 it's pretty not much reliable like when it happens. You can't predict when it exactly happens, but it has happened for for several years. It's reliable that it will close and that it will reopen. So, yeah. um, what we've done is we've moved the trek to the middle of May through the very first couple days of June, so that we can avoid that closing and opening cycle. So we'll be well past when it will have reopened. So this way, you know, we've avoided all that, all that potential for having to uh, reroute the itinerary. So we're in a very safe, uh, historically safe uh, period that we're very sure that the uh, border will be open. And so basically all that worry is gone. So that's really, uh, that's, a, that's a great thing. So um, as, I, I, as I said, uh, we'll just get back into um, in pricing here. It's... Uh, the, the, the official price is uh, $64.99, but for the first month uh, after registration opens on Friday the 16th of November, we're offering a 500 discount, which brings the price down to $59.99. And that's, that's going to be... Um, that's full board, right? Well, what, what, it, what it includes is it includes all the transportation once you're inside Nepal. So you have to get to Nepal to Kathmandu yourself. And in, uh, it uh, includes three nights of hotel in Kathmandu and we will uh, as always be in the uh, the tourist district in Tamel which is just so much fun <laughs> it's just it's so much it fun. is and our and our friend Krishna now has his own cafe yeah we're really excited Krishna was so a, I'm, a waiter at me, uh, the New Orleans cafe which is he one sent of our me a places. scan of his business card and stuff and and photos and so we 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 met him for several years as a waiter in the New Orleans cafe and he now kind of uh he opened his own cafe, so uh, this is going to be awesome. I yeah. mean, I'm so happy for him. I'm really, really happy for him. So we'll <laughs> meet him in Tamil. That's so we're brilliant. really, we're really excited. The the hotels that we stay in are, are typically very nice and very comfortable. Um, it will also uh, in uh, you'll have uh, included will be breakfast at. Uh, these hotels. This is Kathmandu now, right? This is in Kathmandu, and then um, dinner. Uh, Typically, dinner and, and lunch are kind of on your own because people like to go off exploring uh, in Tamil. And um, but what we'll also in, what we will include will be uh, we'll have a, a big team dinner as always at the end of the trip to celebrate uh, the, the the trek. And then um, while you, once we leave Kathmandu and and uh, head on the road in Tibet, then everything is covered. So all the meals, all, all the, the transportation, meals. all the hotels. Well, on the way to the to, to Mount Kailash, we'll be in uh, in hotels and in tea houses. Yeah, again, we'll we'll only be in tents while we're actually on the trek itself, which again is three. But that's days. just three days, right? That's three days. So um, okay. I believe we'll just be in tents a couple of nights. So the entire trek is um, a bit longer than two weeks. Yeah. So um, from from uh, arrival in Kathmandu to departure. Uh, from Kathmandu, it's uh, 17 days. So round trip from your country of origin, you're looking at just just less than three three weeks maximum. Okay. So I you know that's one of the that's one of the things people people have uh, really wanted to come with us, but they just couldn't afford to take more than three weeks off. And uh, the first uh, the first time we did this in 2009, it was three and a half weeks. The second time in 2010 was four weeks. And, uh, you know, you, you need that much time uh, to go to those different places uh, around Everest. But uh, going to Kailash is a much shorter trip. So 
uh, we're, we're, we're pleased. We're hoping it will open it up to people who just haven't had the opportunity to uh, take that much time off before. Um, so let's see. Uh, the, 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 the price uh, also includes the um, Tibetan visa. And um, the visa, course. but the visa is something that we'll do what, when we're there. It's not something that you have to uh, go to to any place before. Yeah, we be handle all that. Of, right? We handle all so, that. The only so thing, it's, it's it's nothing that you'll have to figure out on your on your own. We're here for you to do this. Yeah, the only thing that people need to uh, be aware of is when you get off the plane in Kathmandu, you have to pay for a visa right there. You stand in line. It's about as easy as going to the checkout at a grocery store. So. Um, very, and, and that's about, I think that's about 20, 20 or 30 bucks, right? Um, yeah, yeah, it is. That's a, that's a, that's a nominal fee and it's, yeah, fill out a form, then you, it gets stamped and then they collect the money. It's a very simple process. Yeah. Just follow all the other tourists. The other thing that we include in the price is we do include the tip for the Napoleon Tibetan staff. Which is customary too. At the end of the, of, of a trek like this, um, everyone has to get a tip. Yeah, and and um, unlike and, most, and we're actually quite generous here. Yeah, we we take care of our guys, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why they like coming back uh, to working with us. Um, but you know, we're all about relationships. So, um, but that's one of the things that we offer that most other um, treks, you know, trekking uh, um, companies that they, they don't they don't offer that. You have to pay for the tip uh, yourself. Um, on on top of the price of uh, the trip, so we 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 build that into the price because we want to make sure that uh, our guys are really taken care of. Of course, we always uh, encourage people if they if they want to give more, then that's certainly that's certainly uh, a nice thing to do, but not mm -hmm. not necessary. We we build that into the price. So so pr pretty much, you know, aside from uh, your meals, uh, your lunch and dinner in Kathmandu, everything else is covered. And all right, um, and food is excellent on these trips um there, there there will be more than you can eat <laughs> so so in in case someone is worried about the the elevation that we're going to again eighteen thousand five hundred feet or five thousand six hundred meters that's just briefly so we'll be going over a pass there i suppose um all i can say about that just to take worries away from you is that um i've done this for three times now monica has done this for three times now and with the proper um, with with the proper acclimatization, um, it is clearly possible. And we have guides with us. The the Sherpas that are with us are um, experienced mountaineers. They actually are. They they have a mountaineering degree of some sort, so they know what to look for. And believe me, they will have a close look at you. If you start behaving funny, if you be start behaving, if you start showing any altitude symptoms, altitude sickness symptoms, um, they will notice. So um, we, I think, we, we're in very good hands with mountain tribes when it comes to that. Yes, and and uh, Chris Chris teaches the the incredible workshop. And yeah. Oh yeah, <clears throat> didn't even say say anything about that. Photo photo workshop is obviously part of that. So. Um, we'll have some structured um, teaching. We'll also have a lot of like just um, on the spot kind of thing. So I'll be, we'll pretty much all be together twenty four seven. Um, so I'll I'll be I'll be watching. I'll be making sure that all the groups, everyone, every member of the group is um, is taken care of, and and the different levels are covered, which is something that I actually pride myself to be able to cover groups with uh, with different levels of photo photographic knowledge you don't have to be the photo pro to come you can have a, actually actually we did have entry level DSLRs and they were just fine so you don't have to have any super specific equipment to be able to take great photos up there that's one of the things you will learn there is how to how to get the most out of your existing equipment and um, and obviously, before the trek, um, we're, also, we're also going to send some information around, so you'll you'll be well prepared in order to um, to go into this trek and get the most out of it from pretty much every perspective. Yeah, and we and we typically always have repeat customers on these trips too, so um, there, there's just a wealth of knowledge about uh, you know what to expect from these trips uh, with with when you, when you when you come on one with us. Um, the other thing <laughs> I have to say is you also get me 
and uh, <laughs> I, I'm, oh. I'm I'm quite a cheerleader. What does that mean? I'm quite a cheerleader on these trips. Uh, I like to dish out the tough love. Um, I, but my, my 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 role on these on these trips, uh, you know, besides uh, filming as much as I can, <clears throat> is uh, you know I, I look after the group, and I have a lot of experience of what not to do. <laughs> on these trips <laughs> um and so uh my my, my goal is, is to uh, take care of the group as i like to say and make sure everyone finds success on these trips whatever success means to them and i i can attest to that um being there with you has always has has this, this wonderful effect on the group to make everyone feel very very safe so i love it this is one of the one of, yes, one of my absolute <laughs> favorite things is doing these 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 workshops. So, you know, when you love something, uh, I think it, it, it ends up being uh, done really well. So, in any case, um, for for all of the information, go ahead to uh, our website, which is HimalayanWorkshops.com, and there you can get uh, the itinerary. You can get all the information about the trip, and starting on Friday the sixteenth. Of November 2012 at uh, 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, you will Which, be able uh, for for any Germans. By the way, I'm a German, so I do speak German. So if anyone German wants to wants to join, or any German speakers want to join, um, that would be plus eight hours. So mm -hmm. yep, and that's 5 p.m. in Germany. Yep, on. Seps What's the date again? November Friday, the 16th. Friday, November the 16th. Yes. Early bird for one month. Yes, yes. There is a one month early bird discount of $500. Wow. I can't. I can't I'm so I'm, I'm so happy that we're going to do this again. I mean, this is. Yeah. And I've been missing this. I've been missing my friends there, too. This is, <laughs> this is again, one of the things that I always take home with me. Is yep, the landscape is awesome. The photography is wow. The people are, it's the people in the end that, that you want to come back for. And I'm, Monica and I are looking forward to see um, Krishna with his own cafe. We're looking forward to see Chimi again. Um, a very, you very quickly become friends with, with people who are as real as it gets. They don't, they're not, they don't pretend they're real. And Love Song, the rock star. So. And Love Song. Sorry for getting Love Song. Um, so yeah, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. We like to uh, tout this as the highest photography workshop in the world, which and, it is, which it is. And but you know, you know, I think most importantly is everyone returns from these trips a, a, a different and usually more confident and uh, maybe more more patient person. I think these trips give you a sense of perspective being in this part of the world that you really don't get anywhere else. And it's one of the reasons I like going back. And so. These trips to me are, are, are just as vital for the personal experience that people have as well as the uh, you know technical side of, of the photography workshop. It's just they're, they're, it's just a wonderful experience. And we, we like to say we like to say life changing, but uh, um, it, is. You know, it, it is Oh, I, I, can, I can attest to that too. It changed my life in so many different ways it's hard to just sum them up in, in, in a few quick words, but and, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm also it. excited. This will be my 10th anniversary year. So I will have been Whoa. traveling out there for 10 years. So. <laughs> right. You were, you were there first in 2003. That's what the rest of Everest is based on. Yep. Yep. All those years ago. So awesome. uh, in any case, we really hope, uh, you know, lots of you can join us. And um, I think I think it'll it'll just be one of those things you'll talk about the rest of your life. Uh, and I, in fact, we're sure of it. <laughs> that's that's all. That's a guarantee. You will. You will. <laughs> that we can actually guarantee. So um, again, HimalayanWorkshops.com registration will start on Friday the sixteenth of November at nine a.m. Mountain Standard Time here in the U.S. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll take it from there. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, you know send us an email. You can. Um, you can use uh, Chris's email address from that you might know from his show. Mine's John the Rest of Everest. You can also uh, uh, .com. You can also uh, email info at HimalayanWorkshops.com. That will go to both of us, and uh, we'll answer any questions you might have. So um, there you go. Awesome. That's, that's the information. I'm so looking forward to this. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Chris, for uh, helping me uh, push this information out. And um, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So take care, everyone. 
Let's do this. 